Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the Daily Grind. We are back on a Tuesday after the holiday yesterday. It's like a Monday Tuesday. It is like a Monday. It's like a Monday Tuesday. Nah. So we got a bunch of things to pack up and ship out of here. But first, what are we doing first? We are going to do some customer service tips. All right. Hot Just tips. Hot tips for you <laughs> on a Tuesday. Hot tip Tuesday. Hot tip Tuesday. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So we respond to every single customer question, even if it's weird. <laughs> and, and boy, did we get a weird one last week. Whoa. <clears throat> but we have a theory that leaving lingering questions put your eBay store in a little bit of a halt mode. Like you're not active. You're not responsive. eBay thinks you're not there. They don't push your listings. This is our theory. So we always go above and beyond to answer customer questions in a timely fashion and because it's the right thing to do. Right. So we put measurements in our listing. Fine. We still get questions about measurements uh, that aren't in our, you know, prescribed measurements. Sometimes people want a specific, I don't know, cuff diameter or something. Pull it down. We always measure it. In this case, the, the buyer wants to know if they can see a photo of this coat on a person. These are tough for us because I am only four foot 10 and Dan is a man and this is a tall woman's coat. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna show you today how we have solved this problem other than putting Dan in heels and taking a coat picture from the back. Right, cause that ain't happening. We used to do that hey. and try to crop it, but it, it never <laughs> looks quite right. So we have found a solution that works really well for us in this situation and in other situations that helps us sell clothing for more. So stay tuned. Here we go. Hi, everybody. This is our new best friend right yes. here. Yes. So this is the mannequin that we bought and has these awesome posable arms so that we are able to show like big boxy stuff or stuff that drapes is very drapey. It's really hard to show on a mannequin without arms. So we invested... Three hundred dollars into yeah. this guy right here, uh, but it's helping, and we're it, seeing a lot of sales from it. Yes, we sell a lot of minimalist art to wear kind of things that need arms. Yeah, and it's been really invaluable. So this is a very very cool um, cashmere overcoat that this lady would wanted to see how it fit or how it drapes. So we're going to use our new mannequin with the arms comment down below what we should name this baby <laughs> what's her name what does she look like to you there we go okay now let's put down the shade and show people if you need a weight backdrop this is the easiest way to do it y'all this is a window shade that's all it is from Lowe's we got all the tricks <laughs> all the tricks here you go and like put the ring light in front and you can use my phone to take a photo Okay, <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Okay, so once we have the coat on the mannequin, to help it um, kind of maintain its shape so that it looks like a real person wearing it, we did kind of pin it in the back with these binder clips just so that it drapes a little bit more naturally. So there you go. That's what it looks like. And we took that picture and we're going to email it to the customer. I think it looks all right. Yeah. I think the wooden hands are less creepy than like real hands. They're way less creepy. <laughs> oh, we, you could have done like do that. Like yeah, like, do one like that. That's nice. Yo, you don't have to have the best things. You just have to have functional things. <laughs> so we took care of our customer questions. If you want to know where we got that mannequin, we'll link it below. It was expensive. If you are an average size human, it might be easier to use a real human to do it. But the idea here is to answer the questions the best you can to sell the item. I see a lot of things on Instagram where people are like, I don't answer questions. People won't buy it. Okay, well, we're not of that mindset. We try to sell things. So that's what we're trying to do each and every day. Uh, and then this weekend, we tried to organize our crazy closet office. And you know, you remember the box thing that we were having a problem with boxes, not having any, and then they were like, attacking us from inside the closet i want to show you what we did dan went to the post off i mean the pet store and then put a post on next door and got tons of boxes this weekend so this weekend long weekend has been 
the box crazy yes. center. But now we have this. Wow, look at that. It's like kind of like we know what we're doing. Boxes almost. for days. Yes. This is well, like actually the dream. just like, yeah, a couple days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, and then if you go into our former box land. Oh, I'll just let you go in there. Oh, okay. You can see it's so organized. Oh my, look at that. Those are all the big boxes. That's incredible. Hopefully this makes our shipping faster and more efficient because we'll have the boxes right at our fingertips. Right. We, we don't did... have to spend so much time searching for boxes. Right. And we did break everything down, <clears throat> which in the in the past we didn't do that. We would like keep them together. Yeah. But then they would explode. So <laughs> highly recommend you guys would see today how it works for us, but oh, it feels so good. Right. How many things do we have on that pick list to ship I out? I think we're shipping out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Sweet. It's right. okay. Let's get at it. Okay. okay. We have all of our sales pulled over here and ready to go. Uh, and this is going to be the last thing we're packing up today. So you get to see how we Frankenbox uh, a couple of boxes together to make one box for this very bulky item right here. So stick around for that. Okay. But first, we have these awesome New With Tags mittens that we found at the bins. These are from Scott. On the brand here. Okay. Basically, at the bins, we'll pick up anything that's New With Tags. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I think that's a blanket rule. But anyway, yeah. these were seasonal, so it was great. They sold, remember, I was going to try to tell you guys, they, they sold in about 10 days. Yes, we paid, what, it says we paid $1.99 for them. Is that true? Were these bins? Or oh, not? then they weren't bins. They were not bins. They were a thrift store. Okay. They were a dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. But still. Same day as we went to the bins. That's why I was confused. And these sold for. Um, twenty six ninety five. Okay. Plus, Plus shipping. Plus shipping. And the shipping on these would be four ninety nine. We yes. do a flat rate shipping for a first class, which is four ninety nine. Hey, look at that! We're getting to use one of your new poly mailers. They're not the best. <laughs> Are they okay? Yeah. I don't know why I switched that. Okay. Oh. I know. I don't like it. Okay. Okay, we are at five, five ounces. ounces. Perfect. There you go. Next up is this is a Lacoste. Uh, cloth and leather belt. There wasn't a ton of comps for this. Yeah, yeah. We know it's Lacoste because... Let's get a little tiny box for that. Or no, we can put that in a bubble. Can you see? <laughs> I think you can. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. And there wasn't a ton. There was one that sold... It's cloth. It's not a leather belt. So, yeah, it's not yeah it just has much. leather accents. We got this for free from a neighbor in some bulk bags they decided to drop off with us. And we listed this 12 days ago. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Cool. 12 days. And it sold for? Sold for $18 plus shipping. Okay. Great. Yeah. And this weighs five ounces. Five ounces as well. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So this is a pair of Ariat jeans that we sold for the second time. <laughs> uh, first time, the buyer never paid, so we canceled and relisted, and then they sold again. These are like a thick stitch kind of Western wear. Yeah. They're, they make boots and uh, lots of cool things like that. Actually, they make tennis shoes, too. We sold some tennis shoes from them. Yeah. Um, Ariat has... So the brand won't sell for a whole lot of money, but the sell-through rate is very, very good. And that helps our sales everywhere else. Yes. So we paid $8.99 for these. They sold in about four days. And I don't know what they sell for. They sold for $35 plus shipping. So that's pretty standard. And, and the shipping we charge is $8.99. And that's... 
how much these padded flat rates almost cost to ship. Yeah. So they paid $8.99 plus $34. So we made a healthy profit, but most importantly, we got a quick flip. That is a padded flat rate. Okay. Next up is this super sweet vintage 70s leather jacket. Nice. This thing is awesome. We saw some vintage here and there. We're not afraid. I'm not afraid. Let me see the tag. Oh, with it. Yeah, the ticket. There you go. All right. So we paid $9.96 for this guy. But look. Look how awesome. <laughs> it's like the most 70s leather jacket there ever was, right? There I mean, ever, ever was. Bring it on over. Bring it on over. Bring it in. Nice. Can we see that? You gotta get a little, you need some light. Hold on, I got you. I got you. Okay. Jean Pierre. Yes. And Blair. Genuine leather. I think this is the uh, department store, the store where it Great. came from. Great. Uh, this is, what is this called? What kind of jacket? It's a cafe racer. Cafe jacket. racer jacket. What makes it a cafe racer? I don't know. <laughs> well, but you knew immediately. Just like the, it's kind of like a moto. Uh huh. It's like a simple, real simple. Ah, uh, I sleek. see. Just, you know, there's no pockets, there's no zippers, there's no yeah. buckles. It's just simple and straight. I was going to list this and I said, it's a red leather. How do I describe this? And Dan was like, it's a cafe racer. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> I had never heard of that in my life. <laughs> and then once I typed it in, it came right up. Yep. All right, so we're gonna stick this guy in a big poly and then into the box. Okay, and we paid, like I said, nine ninety six for this. And what did it sell for? This guy sold for seventy dollars plus shipping. Nice, and we oh turned. My God. What? Look at the name of who bought it. <laughs> I won't show you. Oh. <laughs> Um, That's got to be a coincidence. That just I has to don't be the think same it has name. to be. I know I do not think it has to be a coincidence at all. Seriously? Not at all. No, nah, come on. In Illinois, though, there's no way. Yeah. No. No. It's in the Jason. It's not like. I think this might be going to a politician. <laughs> a politician's family member. That would be awesome. I mean, it's, it's right, it sounds, this is right, I mean, this style is. I, I mean. All right, I'm not going to share, but I would, there's, it's too, there's not, there, no, it has to be. <laughs> it has to be related. It has, it has to, to be. be related. That's funny. All right. So the, the title, I think this is important and I want to keep giving you guys good information. The title was Jean-Pierre Leather Jacket Maroon Men's Vintage Cafe Racer, size 42 regular. So it had all the things in the way of, of the SEO. So we start with the brand, which is Jean-Pierre. Should we leave this in the medium flat rate or should we try to get it into a regional? I think we should see what the difference is in, I don't know if we can get that in a regional. Okay, good call. So, uh, fl medium flat rate box is thirteen eighty three. Uh -huh. They paid twelve ninety nine. Okay, so we'll this is our model with shipping. It's flat rate, so we might lose a buck or two. But if, uh, if, if we, we can get it into a regional A, it's nine twenty seven. No, I feel better about okay. it in here okay. because of the creases. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Think I'd rather lose a couple bucks. I, normally, but it's a leather jacket and it's vintage. I don't wanna. Yeah, where's the. I don't want to, you know, take any chances. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Okay. Okay, next. The flawed Ralph Lauren purple label polo shirt. Okay. We have started selling flawed items. We didn't used to do this. No, we did not. Now, here's what you This is the money right here. Yeah, for sure. That's the real... The real deal. This is the label you're looking for. When you look for Ralph Lauren, this purple label is top of the line. Now, this sold for, what, 22 bucks plus shipping? That is correct. Okay, this shirt should have sold for over 100 But it has some bleach stains on it. And we bought it anyway. Yeah, I didn't notice the stains at the, uh, at the thrift. How much did we pay for it? Uh, I think I got it at Goodwill, so... No, no, 199 I think we did notice it. I think we were like, eh. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we were like, well, we sell flawed things now. 
I mean, odds are maybe someone wants to dye it. We've sold two flawed purple labels now. Yep. This is our second one. So uh, we normally, in our baby days, we would just give it right back to the Goodwill. Like, oh, we can't list that. $22 is better than no dollars, you know That's what I'm saying? That's exactly right. Where's your uh, Aki sticker? And it's a conversion. So, hello. Love it. Look at that. Goes with it. Matches. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So we're putting that in a poly mailer. If that were not flawed, it would never go in a poly mailer. <laughs> not under my watch. Right. That would be something that would go priority mail and a box because it was worth a lot. But this is flawed. They paid 22 bucks. It's going in a poly. Nine ounces. Nine ounces. Okay. Next. Cat ornament. We have a motto here. Cat stuff sells. Cat stuff sells. So we pay, I think we got this for like 99 cents or something. I don't care what it is. It has a barcode and it's a cat. I bought it. <laughs> Limited edition. Ooh. Ooh, you better watch out. Uh, this was actually $2.99 retail, two for five. So the fact that we sold it for... $10.95. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, we got a... Hey, we didn't design the box. So. <laughs> but if it breaks, we gotta pay for it. You broke, you bought it, you broke it. No, you broke it, you bought it. Yep. And that's how it goes. I love when this happens. There you go. These are some eBay boxes that we bought with our shipping, uh, with our coupon. They don't fit anything, it's fine. We love them. Annoying. Nothing fits in them. That's not true. Ties fit in them. This fit. Dan smashed it. Yeah, smash it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We're running a little bit late today. We are. It's been a little bit of a crazy one. Oh, and, you know, a late start. We didn't have that many sales over the past two days. We did ship out on Saturday. I will say that. So normally we don't do shipping on Saturdays, but we, we got out a good amount of packages Saturday because we knew it was going to be a long weekend. Yeah, we didn't want to show up today with like 75 things to ship. Yeah. <laughs> so we only have 16 today for two days, but that's okay. What's that guy weigh? Seven ounces. Seven. Okay. Next. Cubby Bear Hand Puppet. All right, you guys. Here's the plush. This is the kind of vintage stuff we're looking for. Look at this guy. Look at his little face. <laughs> <laughs> He's called the Cubby Bear. I'm not sure if he's related with the Chicago Cubs. I couldn't find a clear answer on that. Here's the ticket. I'm going to say no, because this guy and all the other puppets that I found, they're from the o Awanas Club. This is the Awana. Yeah. Camp, yeah. camp on Awana. I don't think so. <laughs> That's from Salute Your Shorts, you guys. Okay. Anybody? Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Camp Bonawana. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, that's the tag. And this guy, look how cute he is. There was a million of these listed. So you guys know what I did. This is a hand puppet. You know what I did? Undercut the price? I, well, first of all, I made my description better. Oh, there you go. And our guy had a vest. And these other guys did not. They didn't have a vest. So I put, what was our title here? Hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to start sharing titles. Vintage plus Cubby Bear, in all caps, that part. Hand Puppet, 14 inches, Awana Club International, all caps, with vest. Boom. Okay, and then I priced it right in the middle of the pack and competed with the shipping price. I made my shipping price competitive so that I was the lowest one with the vest. There you go. And it sold for... I keep thinking my trash can's over there. It's over here. It sold for 20 Yes. Uh, we paid 47 cents. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> Wait, please. Just throw it on the ground. Just throw it on the ground. I don't like this. I need some breathing room. See how it's like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, eight, eight ounces. Okay, next up. The Chaser Tank Top. Okay, we love Ooh. selling this brand. Uh, this came in a BNG <coughs> box when they used to, I don't know, is BNG still around? Y'all need to tell me. Yeah, we've heard some, some rumors that they are no more. This is, is a true? skull. I don't know if you can see the graphic, but it's a skull with flowers. Anyway, we like selling Chaser. I wish I didn't pay $7 for it. It's a little high. Yeah, but you know. But we like to sell it and it does move for us. That's a summer shirt, so I don't know. Whatever. 
He was going on a trip. Yeah. That sold for $20. We were actually taking like every offer ever this weekend. Pretty you ever much. have weekends like that where you're like, okay. Just feels like it's going to be slow and you're like, oh, look at those. Take some of these offers to spur some sales. Uh huh. Three, Three. ounces. Okay. Uh, the cuffed up thing. Yeah, it's so weird. We sold both of these. These sat on my desk for approximately six months because I didn't know how to list them. Right. And then you listed it. And then we sold one. And just like anytime we have multiples of an item, we sell one. And then the next or more of them start to sell within Very the, next, strange. the next week. So these Every are, single time. I think you guys probably remember these. are like slap bracelets that you put on your forearms to keep your shirt rolled up. And there was no comps. There was just no comps. This is must be like a... What do you call that thing where you Kickstarter or something? Oh, yeah, maybe. Like a, they only made one run of them and then they were out of business. <laughs> yeah, there was no comps. That's why I didn't list them. But now I'm getting better. I'm just like, okay, Amy, just list it. Just make up a price, man. Just make it up. <coughs> there you go. Okay. What does that guy weigh? So we paid $2 for the well, one I need. Next. See, should we like... Oh. I don't... Mm -mm. No? No. Why? No, we should. Okay. 100% should. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Can you give me another piece? I didn't like how that was flopping. I didn't like that chaser one flopping around either. I feel like it's going to get caught on something and just like have a hard time. All right, that's better. Okay. Okay, now it weighs four ounces. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Here that we... sold for? That sold for 20 bucks. No, 10. 10, 10 bucks. Ten take it, take it. The Lululemon uh, Run Full Tilt. Okay. Hello. Uh, this is very detailed. It's Lululemon. You guys know. I don't want to take it out of here because lint. But it has these stripes on it. It has these little cute little ruffles. It's got thumb holes. It's got a lot going on for it. Uh, I got a lot of lowball offers. Let me tell you what I titled it. Sold and for 40. It sold for 40. Y'all can still sell Lulu. It will move. Just don't price it too high. Right. Let me see what I titled this. What do we pay for that guy? Where's the, where's the ticket? Where's the dang ticket? Is it on there? Where is the dang ticket? I don't know. Uh oh, we lost the ticket. Lost the ticket. I don't think it had a ticket. Y'all did it have a ticket? 3602. It should have had a ticket. Should have had a ticket. We just listed it. I feel like there's a lost stack of tickets somewhere. <laughs> it might be in the box. Maybe it came off? Maybe. It's not in here, right? It's definitely not in here. No, definitely not in here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Lululemon Run Full Tilt Bordeaux Long Sleeve Purple Navy Ruffle Size 10 Pullover. So all of those keywords, and most importantly with Lululemon, the style number. I mean name. Y'all, I can't think. <laughs> the style name is so important. Do a Google image search. Whatever you gotta do. Ugh. I don't have a ticket. Do you think there's a stack of tickets somewhere? Um, I really don't know. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. All right, so next, while he's printing the ticket, are these. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I got a junk bag full of... I don't know, about 20 of these things. Some were Care Bearers, some were... What the inventory numbers? Girl, hold on. I'm sorry. Um, it doesn't matter, I, I, I don't know. 3602, okay. We call these day boys, 299. Yeah, well, look at these birthday banners. These are from the 90s. And I looked up online these and I got a picture of an opened one. And that's what I put in the listing. And these we got for free because ship this one has like a little bit of schmutz on it uh so basically <clears throat> what i do is if we get a junk bag look at our little boxes if we get a junk bag then i will account for the cost of everything yes perfect oh, perfect and I have little all this, box i have all these packing materials <laughs> A little bit yeah there we go perfect okay so when we get a junk bag with all these i will put the cost of the junk bag on one of them so like the first one will be 199 if i paid and then for the rest of them on our tickets i put free because once that one sells then the rest of them are gravy and the first one sold so these are the next two and they were free and we sold them 
for fourteen dollars plus shipping. Yay! That's awesome. Love it. Six. Six ounces. Hey, the Savan Chino pants. Oh my gosh! I can't. We got these dollar pants. <laughs> we listed all these dollar pants. If you are low on cash and you need something to flip and you need something quick to list, you can't beat dollar pants. We paid one dollar. The problem is we've had these listed since February. Oh my god. So maybe not these, but these were new with tags for a dollar. I'm like, somebody's gonna buy them eventually. Right. Oh, no, they're over. So they're we need over. A, we need a dang old flat rate, please. Padded or regular? Mm. Uh probably padded. Yeah, it's just so much easier. So let me show them. I didn't show them oh, Savon. Sorry. I don't think this is a great brand, but just it's so you know. A, yeah, I don't. I would not recommend picking that up unless it's a dollar or less and new with tags. <laughs> but like we say all the time, we'll sell anything if it's new with tags. I don't care. Oh, you need a you need a poly for that, babe. I'm putting them in this. I don't know if they're gonna fit. No. Okay. There you go. Time perfect. is money. Perfect. You know. Quit struggling with the little bag. <laughs> Quit playing with your dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> what so you just sound like. <laughs> but you need to like, you know, get it real good because it's gonna go in here. You gotta like get it in there. Okay, yeah, go, go, go. That's fine. Oh, oh. All right. Quit playing with your dinghy. Just go. Just let me, just let me do it. I just want to make sure it fit in here because sometimes, you know how it goes. We'll do all this and then it won't fit. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Some people cut a hole in the bottom of this and it like lets air out so you can squeeze things in it. Oh, that's a good trick. That's a hot tip. Hot tip. I've never done it, but I read about it. Okay. So these took a good year to sell. It's fine. But they did sell. And my full fourth. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. 21, 21 plus 8.99 shipping. Okay. Decent. That's fine. Would not recommend. All right. Whoa. PF. What? Padded flat rate. Next. <laughs> Levi's 511 six pocket pants. All right, y'all. These. These are going. These are heavy too, right? Yes. Yep. These are Levi's, but they look more like Dickies. Um. Oh. Uh oh. I wouldn't recommend picking up these because they sell this kind of stuff at J.C. Penney, Walmart. Target even sells Levi's. Like, I just, you gotta be real careful. Okay, we paid $2.49 for these. I don't know why or when or how. <laughs> it was, says 2020, so. Mm. And then we padded flat rate. And what did they sell for? They sold for $16, Bob. We've had them a long time, and I tried everything I could, and I just relisted these. I think that's why they sold. And so the title that I just relisted them, Levi's 511 Six Pocket Chino Pants, Black Loose Straight Cargo Men, size 36 by 30. I guess maybe it helped. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Next up. What is it? The, the perfumes. This was a gift that I did not partake in. You need some stretch wrap on this. Mm -hmm. And so it's free. But okay. It sold very quickly. The rule for selling uh, perfume is you have to ship it ground. So it's got to go either parcel post or UPS ground. <clears throat> and you have to label it with a limited quantity label. So the carrier knows it's flammable, you know, flammable liquid and they have to ship it ground. So you are, you are allowed to ship this stuff, but you just have to obviously label it and ship it the proper way sorry i don't know where we got cut off but you're not gonna believe this so i went into my new box storage and i put this little cologne in a you know whatever bubble wrap it fits amazing like so perfect gosh this never happens ever happens <clears throat> But it was all about having the right size box. See, before, that would have taken us like 
an extra 15 minutes to try to find a small box. For sure. Try to fit it, you know, and I think, I think this new box system is going to be a game changer. Hmm. So what I was saying before the camera fell and we had to edit that out was that uh, perfume and other flammable liquids have to be shipped ground and you have to put a limited quantity label on it that looks like this. So once you do that, and again, you buy a ground label for it, either parcel post or UPS ground, but you are absolutely allowed to sell and ship this kind of stuff. Thirty nine ninety five. Plus shipping. Nice. Okay. What's that weigh? This weighs nine ounces. And I'm gonna need dimensions, please. Okay. Here we go. So this is nine by four by three. What is this? The coat that we just answered a question on? Yes. Okay. No. No, it's not. What is it? That is the... Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Poshmark. And then we're going to do the Super Soaker. Yes! Alright. <clears throat> you want a regional BIA for this? I'm going to fit. Yeah. This thing's cool. It is very cool. Oh. This is a, I think this is vintage, uh, Ford Motorsport leather bomber jacket. This thing is super tag. cool. Get in there. So this is, it's got a Ford Motor Company tag. It has the Ford Motorsport logo on the pocket right there. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Super cool. We were waiting for the right buyer for this. I'm shocked it sold on Posh, actually. Yeah. For what, like $153? Yeah. Yes. Love Posh because we can use any USPS box. So we're using a regional A because that's what we cleared out all the boxes we never use and we just kind of replaced it with stuff we use all the time, which is regional A's. Yeah. <clears throat> For us living in Texas, since we're kind of centrally located, the regional A, the regional A and B boxes do tend to work out in our favor more often than not. So. We still have the other boxes, but they're in storage. Yeah. So I'm put a little, you know, mm -hmm. behind them. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Careful. Careful. <laughs> Put that in a poly and then we put it. I'm gonna do the other side too. You're just re revving to go. This man wants to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you put them in the weirdest spot. Why are you right there? I, don't know. This one. I was ready. That's he was where ready to That's go. Just where it went. All right. Now comes the fun one. Yes. Fun? I don't know about fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be just fine. It's going to be just fine. Okay. We're gonna Frank in box. Y'all, these vintage smokers. Okay, well first of all you have to make sure they're working. But we got it at the bins, so we paid 74 cents. And we had it listed for 120. And then someone, this is going international. Is it? Yeah. Sweet. Anytime it says Erlanger, Kentucky, that means uh -huh. it's going international. Uh -huh. All right, tell people what you're doing. Then okay. What, I'm, what my plan is to take two of these boxes, which are 18 and a half by 13 by 15. And. Tape them together into one box that will fit this super awesome Super Soaker XP250. So, we got this at the bins for 74 cents because we do an average cost of goods. 
And then we had it was for 120. We got an offer for 70. And anytime I'm gonna turn 74 cents into 70 dollars, I'm like, okay, we should probably take a look at this. <laughs> and so Dan looked at the comps again, and this is an ever-present story. We tell this story almost every single day. He looked at the comps again, and dang if the person wasn't right. <laughs> most of the time, if it seems like it might be a fair offer, most of the time people are offering market value. We had ours overpriced. We did. We really, really did. And if he hadn't looked and he had just gotten like, oh. and if he had just been like, oh, gosh, we have it listed at 120. They only offered 70. We wouldn't have made the sale. The guy would have bought the next one that was close to ours with strap. Strap is important. was 72. So he wanted ours. I guess our photos might have been better or something. Something. He wanted ours because he could have just bought that guy straight up for 72. That's how you have to check the comps. Maybe that was listed after ours, but there was someone about to make that sale, and we were like, oh, no, honey. <laughs> we are turning this 74 cents into $70. Yes, we are. I'm going to take these two boxes and just kind of stick them together like so. And then take this guy. Okay, let me get you some packing material. Okay, thank you. And just so I can get an idea of how large this box will need to be. <clears throat> huh, that's pretty good right there. Okay. So, okay, here's my, here's the issue. Okay. So this is going to be, it's still like just a hair, like it's gonna. Well, you can just put, can't you just put like a yeah. bridge the gap? Yeah, we'll figure it out. I have these flaps. Okay. Here, put this down first, that's not good. It's like if you just did this. saved you know little pieces of cardboard like what if you just did you know that after we put some packing material in there yeah okay well let's do the packing material first but that will work right yeah we'll make it work okay what would you like bubble air pockets air pockets paper. air pockets you don't have to do the handle if you're worried about the handle just go around the handle how about that there we go there we go I think it looks better like he cares, you know? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Feel better. Happy wife, happy life. That's what they said. You ever heard that? Never. <laughs> <sighs> See? have to tape it. Okay. He manhandled it. He forgot. Golden rule. Here, put these in first, remember? Put them in before the, you know, underneath the flap. So they don't go out. There we go. Flap it ease, flap it ease. And then I can give you another piece to like wedge in there. Okay. Okay. Yes, 
Yes. What we're gonna do, you see, it's very technical. What's happening here? Oh no. Oh no. There's a little bubble in there. Bubble wrap? No, because that's just gonna make it even like stick out further. Yeah, but it's gonna cushion it. Doesn't have to be pretty. You don't have to squeeze it so tight. You're squeezing it. You have like plenty of room. Look, just don't squeeze it. Let it let it well, breathe. I'm just trying to figure out how to. That's how this thing will pop out if you let it breathe. I promise you. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Going to eBay tape cocoon it. <laughs> they can repackage this in Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wonder. I hope this is okay. I wonder where it's going because sometimes you can't send fake. <laughs> No. Sometimes you can't send fake guns to certain countries. Okay, but this is not like... Don't you think that would apply more to like, like fake guns that look like real guns? I mean, hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> Looks like a coffee. So if the... <laughs> Oh my God. Who's cringing? Everybody. Every, I'm cringing. I'm not really a fan of this. But. There's nothing else we can do. It's a weird shape. I, mean, I could have probably looked at like a slightly larger box. Sus. Well, it's, what are you worried about? The tape? Uh, piece. No. That's... Just run a piece down. Just come on, come uh, on, come on. So it doesn't get caught in anything. Like there's nothing for it to stick to. Like... Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. All right. it's just plastic like it's not i can't get that off i need blank label okay no time see here we go just gonna make things happen so they may repackage this <laughs> In Kentucky, please repackage it. Right. Okay. Just doing what I do. All right, so we gotta measure this puppy and see, you know, the widest part. <laughs> it looks like a coffin. I can't. Bob the Builder over here. Get away. 27, 15, 6. Oh, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Where's... Everything fell off the edge. Everything fell off. Okay. What did I say? 27, 15, 6. Awesome. How much does that add up to? 27, 15, 6. Seven, More than 36. This is 48. So we're going to have to look at the dimensional weight. 27 times 15 times 6 divided by 139. 17 and a half. Yikes. Okay, and then this actually weighs uh, 4 pounds. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, so now we're definitely going to compare on pirate ship. We're going to compare. 
they're cubic or something. I think it's called cubic. What is it called, y'all? Yeah. Cubic? Yeah. Okay, if I put this in as, should I put in as four pounds on eBay? Or the dimension? Six. 1549 on the PS Brown. I just keep taping it. We might not be buying any more Super Suckers. I think it was more than four pounds, Fred. That's what you said. I mean, like, I knew we were doing dimensional. Let me get you an exact weight. Four pounds, eight ounces. Thank you. 1549. And you put in the cubics? So, supposedly, Pirate Ship is supposed to calculate dimensional automatically, and it obviously doesn't. <laughs> did you put it, what did you put it as? I put in the exact dimensions of the box, and I put in four pounds, eight ounces. So you gotta do cubic or something. It, it should give you that automatically, right? It's not an option here. What does it say, rates? Right here. No, no, like over there, over there. That gives you just a general rate yeah. search. So, no idea. Can you guys help us? So you said pirate ship gives you dimensional rates automatically, but it didn't. So I'm gonna put this in as, so if I put it in as 18 pounds instead of four, the rate goes up to 1681. Oh, it's only a dollar more. Yep. So you guys, seriously? It's not the weight. It's the size of the box. It's only a dollar more for like 10 more pounds. More than 10 pounds. Everybody, it's time for your moment with Mojo. What are you doing, buddy? You have a good nap? Say hi. Good boy. All right, you guys, I've made it back from the post office. I made it just in the nick of time. Got there right before five o'clock before closing. Got everything scanned in and we are good to go. So I'm back at the house and we're gonna find out what we really made. So from January 15th to the 18th, so that's Saturday, since we saw you last till today, we sold 36 items. Wow. And 41 of those got cross-listed. Very I'm cool. I'm pretty excited about that number. I spent a lot of time this weekend delisting, relisting, and cross-listing. Okay. So our average sale price is including shipping, 51.22. Wow, that's a nice jump. I will take it. Yes, we did ship out on Saturday. You guys missed that. But let's look at our month, year to date, since it's January. Yeah. Where are we at so far? Okay. That's not bad. Okay, January. Right? Um, it feels really mm -hmm. slow, but it I does. think we're doing okay. We're in that $3,000, which we try to hit profit at 4000 Really, we want to be at 6000 But it's halfway through the month. We're halfway there. <laughs> We're trying to think of all the good things, right? <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, so that's where we are right now, and hopefully this kind of numerical breakdown is helpful. Yeah. Well, there you have it, the numbers so far, and they're looking, you know, not too bad. How's your January doing? Let us right. know down below. Let us know. Also, let us know if there is anything specific you would like us to go over in these daily videos that we haven't covered yet, or... If there's just something you want to see again or more of, less of, whatever, let us know. We are receptive to feedback. Always. Thank you so much for hanging. We'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye.